Good morning, guys. This is Paula, and I'm back to do kind of a different twist on collaging. Um, I'm using the text pages, and I'm going to use paper. I'm going to use uh, Kleenex, not Kleenex, but napkins, and a little bit of Mosh Posh. So we got to get busy because this will take a while. So, I'm, what I'm thinking about doing, I'm not putting Mosh Posh underneath our, our picture, our, our collage, but we're going to do it, do, we're going to work over this, and um, the first thing we're going to do is, let me move everything where you can see it, okay. I'm gonna make sure you guys can see what I'm doing at least, right? Okay, I'm gonna be trying all kinds of ways to do this, just so you know. Um, just because it's fun <laughs> and relaxing. It's the most relaxing thing I think I've done. And um, this is one of Gail's um, digitals. So if you haven't got one of Gail's digitals, run over there and check it out. She's Cinnamon Toast on Etsy. Okay. There we go. All right, so we've put that first piece down. Now what I want to do, this, this is going to go pretty fast. I'm going to open this out and kind of slide it under so it kind of holds it down. All right, so now what I want to do is just put the glue straight down on the text paper. Now, some of this area may or may not have something sticking to it, okay? But it will dry and be fine. So we have our napkin here, okay? Or, yes, our napkin. And um, we're going to line it up where I want it to go. And make sure that underneath it we have glue and everything like we need. I couldn't remember how far over that was going to go. And yeah, so there we go. Now... I it's been my experience when you put the glue, when you use glue instead of Mosh Posh. Um, I mean, I've had to tear some off because it just didn't end up holding. So I'm like, we'll glue it down the best we can and then go over with a very thin coat of Mosh Posh. Now, uh... I think I'm going to put this one little feather up there and um, see what, what that looks like. The reason I'm going over this with glue and not without any worries is because it's all going to have a little thin coat. Okay, now, how fast was that? That was super fast. We're going to use one of the labels and I can't remember whose label this is I think it's Tracy's I think that's the only one I've printed so so far I've got some lined up all right so now let's put our our label right down here Yeah. Now this is how it's going to look, but let's trim it first so we can really get a good visual. Um, I thought that we would not do the Mosh Posh till last because we couldn't do the rest of it, right? So, yeah, there we go on that part. So you can kind of see, but right here... It shows a little gap underneath, and I don't want that there. So, I'm going to just get a little piece 
of, I don't know if that will fit under there now that I've already put my label down. Let me see if I can pull my label up. Well, it's kind of risky. I'm just going to put, I'm just going to put my label, leave my label, I mean, and go over here and just do a little bit under there and see what happens. Yeah, like right here. See, it's not going to cover our label. Good grief. This glue and its little chunky parts. I hope you guys are having a good Monday morning. I've been lazy so far. Slept in later, but I didn't sleep well last night. Which is the story of my life. But I keep thinking it's going to get better, you know. <laughs> nope, not yet. Okay, so we're going to trim this off. And save it for whatever else we might the big piece save the big piece we're going to trash this little piece and yeah if i can get my fingers around it <laughs> all right so i think so that this can dry a little bit we will work on the very back which i want to be um like some collage collaging i want to collage it I don't know why I can't say collaging. I can say collage, <laughs> but I can't get it to roll off my tongue. So, I think the first thing we're going to do is put a little bit of, this is some of that stenciled paper that we did on um, for our rainbow book. This was just, a, I guess, a little scrap where I had to cut the paper for the size of the book. I'm assuming that's what it is. So I'm gonna let it just hang off the top just a tiny bit and I'll trim it. Here at the bottom, it's, I want not to use anything but blue tones. Now there can be another color mixed in if we need be, but not much, you know, maybe in this color theme right here like there's a little bit of brown of course the gold although I'm not using any gold so mostly blues and then just paper that, that that can be journaled on which I need to grab some uh I grabbed everything else but that um and then we'll do the very back but we're going to do it um, with bigger pieces of paper. And I know I've said that before and ended up not, you know, actually doing that. But, um, the reason is I want, I don't want this to like be something that bores you to death. <laughs> I think that we need to try to go a little faster um, just because I don't, you know, I don't want it to get to the point that it is boring, but I have to tell you, I love it <laughs> and I know I'm not the only one. So let's see what we come up with. Okay. I think all of the journaling paper must be in the bottom. Let me flip it over. Oh, here's a big piece. There. Looking, looking. Let's see. I might have to be digging in my scraps to find uh, my other scrap. You know, I keep a, um, I have a, a drawer for each color. I know, that's crazy. But honestly, I need, okay, now we're getting over there. Honestly, I need a, a drawer that um, will allow me to have different colors. 
Okay. All right, I think we're getting down to the point that we can use. Um, let me get, I'm gonna see if there's some bigger pieces down in here. It's so funny, every time I get in here and dig, I find something different <laughs> that I didn't know I had in my basket. Okay, now, I think I've narrowed it down to just a few. All right. So back here, I'm just going to keep adding a few pieces of blue. And um, see how far we can get with that. I think that's more than I want it to have on it there. Okay, so in the middle, what do we want? Oh, I love this. So let's put half of this on this part and half on the back. I think that's a deal. I think that is perfect idea. Hmm. I'm going to have to rip a little tiny bit off of here. Maybe right here. And then bring it all the way over. Okay, now I'm just kind of going to kind of lay things down. And um, go from there. Like that, and it keeps moving. Let's see what else we've got. Come on, come on, paper. Okay, so I found a couple pieces. Now, this one's not very big, but it has um, stitching on it. It's not the most beautiful stitching, but it's stitching, and it happens to be the right color for what we're doing. I'm sorry, guys. My nose is just all crazy this morning. Okay, the only thing I don't like is that this has white background, this has cream, but if we add a little bit of um, um, ink on here at the end, which I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to use a lighter ink because I feel like the ink I've been using, which is vintage photo, is a little darker than I want. So, Let's see. Let's do like this. Then we can put a little bit. On this side. Just trying to fill in this one little space right here at the bottom. I think that's going to be big enough. If not, yeah, it is. So we'll just put it like this and put it under, no, we won't put it underneath. Okay, so these are gonna be the last two we put on. We've already put on that one strip, so we're good to go on that one. Okay, here we go. Let me make sure you guys are in camera. Yes, you are. I think you actually need to be zoomed in a little bit. Okay. I want to make sure you guys can see if I'm going to do this, you know. Okay. So, let's put this top piece on first. My favorite. Actually has blue lines on it. Okay. Now, I'll move that down. It's hard to see this when you when you go to put it when you don't if you don't turn it to the side it's hard to get it straight. We're going to make whatever happens this time be the right way. Okay, so then we're going to put 
Let's see, did I have it like this? Yeah, I like it like that. Okay. I'm going to put the foot shaped piece of paper on here. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot to tear that little section right there. I don't like straight edges showing. Uh, I guess you know that already. I've probably told you that a half a dozen times. Okay. Now, let's put this one that has this thread on it. Oh, you know what? <laughs> this one's not, this one's straight too. So this may change things a little bit. I'm just going to take it like that. There we go. Let's see. Come on, paper. You think this was doing heart surgery or something here? <laughs> it's not. Don't get scared. I don't do that. <laughs> I don't do the heart surgery thing. Okay, now right down here, the piece that I had is not going to work. So I'm going to add a different piece down there. Now this is some of, I think this is some of uh, Tim Holtz. Uh, I really want that to, how about we do it like this instead? Bring it all the way over to the end right here. And then we'll cover this section. I think I like that better than the first way we had it. And it actually will work with how I tore it. Oh, I love it. I, I love it when this sort of thing happens, don't you? Arr. So that's not going to work because my paper is too sticky for it to work. So we'll just we'll just do it like this. I mean, I'm going to have to get a clean page. You get busy and then you don't want to do that. We'll see if we can find a place just to do this one piece here. Okay, that goes right there. Yeah, that's going to work. That's going to work. I'm going to pull a little bit of this white off. Okay. So I have to go get my allergy shot today, and so that just kind of disrupts my day when I have to leave the house, when I have a bunch of things planned. Um, you know, when I have a bunch planned, I just don't want to go anywhere because I'm motivated to keep going, you know? I know you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, so we are going to rip this page off. And throw it away. No, wait a minute. Yeah, we have to throw it away because it's got a picture on the back side. Bummer. I like to save them, but I know in the long run I'm going to have more than I ever need. Okay, so let's trim this piece off. And I think that's all that's got to be trimmed off. So I discovered something yesterday. I want to tell you guys so you can be aware of it. I don't know if you're like me, but I want this to stay together. Now, just using glue stick, I'm not so sure, even though it's super strong. So I'm always stitching around mine, okay? If it's possible. Um, but I, the ones we did yesterday, let me show you, because I did get them stitched. Here's this one stitched. And, and then... Here's this one stitched. It turned out really cute, guys. And see, the tag has a straight stitch around it, the little tag. And then the, the card portion of it has it all the way around. 
and I think it turned out cute and I added this extra little bunny right here and then I added a, ta uh, a label. And then here's the back. I added a cut, um, the negative space of some hearts that I had. But right here where it folds, uh, if I had to say to, to anyone, and we should have done it on this one, I would put a strip of paper right over here like you were binding because this started coming apart and I had to put a lot of glue on there and I'm hoping it stays without any problem. I think it will. It, it looks like it's doing fine now. And um, anyway, so this is the two that we did in yesterday's video and I had not stitched them because they were wet, but I just wanted you to see how the fabric is. I added some pink seam binding up here to match those flowers. And I think it turned out pretty good. So those were from yesterday. I wanted to show you those. Okay, now, yeah, I don't think, I also think that right in here, you need to be careful when you ink. Don't ink straight down on here, ink this way. Okay, so let's move right along to the next. See, this is coming loose here, but I will. I'll put some Mosh Posh down in there. That'll take care of that. And so in the back, I recommend you do the same thing. So we're going to take, let's take this stitched one. And look how marbly that looks. We're going to take this one and put it right down the middle. So it gives us some um, strength in that area. But I just realized that there was something else I wanted to do before putting that piece down. Because I want to hang on to that piece. Let's see if that will help. I don't know if this is big enough. But I want some... Yeah, that should work. I want really to be able to... There we go. I want to be able to put something just slightly over each side, you know, so that it, because I left straight edges there. But I figure we can lay something over them without any problem. Like this one is already pretty much straight. This little piece I've got here. Well, wanting to go crooked and I can't have that so we'll put it on the other side okay now on this side I figure we can just you know add some as we go here hmm I have another one I want to do if we can get this done. I want to um, do a something to go in my botan botanical book. And um, <laughs> looking, looking here. So let me rip that off right there and hopefully it will go all the way across and it does. Perfect. All right. Trying to go down as far as I can so I can. I was going to take it over. Then I just realized, oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to cover up the stitching. Okay, so now let's see. Let's do this one.
Mm, that's too far over. So let's do like this and then tear right here. I hope you guys, I've had a lot of people tell me that they are collaging along with me. And um, it's one of those things that it's about the closest thing you can get to doing the same thing that I'm doing. Um, it's fun. If you had told me, I don't know if I've already told you this or not, if you told me two months ago I would be doing this and loving it, I would have said you were crazy. But until you try it, <laughs> You have no idea how much fun it is. Okay, so we did add a tiny bit of green. So we probably need to add a little bit of green up here. Not much. So I think I'm going to use the same little piece of paper. Let's see. I don't think I want it that big. Or do I? Maybe I'll do it like this so you can actually stitch on it. I gotta tear this end off, stitch on it, journal on it, journal, Paula, journal. Okay, so I'm not gonna put glue on the whole thing, just hopefully I'll get just the end that I need right here. Perfect. That almost looks like it was meant to journal on, doesn't it? But because it ends right here, I just don't think I would like the way it looks. Okay, so now I want to do this one. Tear some of the edges off. I like these little holes being here. Okay, so that's perfect. Okay. All right. Now. And see, that's a lot of journaling area right here. All of this, except for the two blue is journaling space, so that works out great. Okay, over on this side, um, we're gonna do this blue. Now, not the whole thing. Let me see how far down we can go. Well, I kinda like that, don't you? Let's, let's go for it. Get that one piece on there. This paper is losing it. So I'm going to fold it over onto this one. I do go ahead and put a little extra because it just sa saves me later. Um, and if there's any clumps... I recommend you push them down while they're wet. And hopefully there's no picture back there. Well, what do you know? This is going to be something that we do in another video. And I'm leaving it flat and not folding it. And you'll see why in the next video. So here we go. We're going to put the ink on this one. Or the glue on this one. I'm telling you, my brain just picks up and says what it wants. And then I'll I'll tell my then I tell my brain, are you nuts? But I've been I do that. I don't know why. I know what I'm thinking. I don't know if you're a brain surgeon. Let me know. <laughs> or it's early signs of dementia. I don't know. I hope not. Okay, here we go now. Uh, let's see what color we need a. We need some white on there. So let's use some of this. Actually, that's perfect. Okay. 
see. Hope my hand's not in the way, guys. Sorry if it is. Whoops, right there, straight edge. You gotta watch those little straight edges. They'll get you. Okay, so we have an area here and here. This one kind of goes down, so we want to make sure. No, I don't want that. How about another piece of, let's see if this fits right here. Man, almost, but it doesn't. Okay, so let's tear off another piece of that. How about that? Let's see. So we want to start small. I kind of look at it when I start tearing. If I want it to tear a certain way, I um, I will deliberately do it a certain way. Okay. That way I can uh, get it to be the shape I need to collage with. I want to get away from collaging with little smaller pieces. I really want to use bigger pieces and in the next, uh, the this this one I'm telling you about here, I plan on doing that. Okay, so we got this. What we just have this one little area right here, and I think I'm looking to see if I have any more with stitching on it. Uh, yeah, but it's not any good. But we can still use the tea stain portion of this. So. I'll tear that off and see if we can get it to be wide enough. Let's see. Let's turn it over. See if we should be so lucky. Yep. Right there. So this is a piece that can be journaled on too, which is nice. Okay, now this this one is coming pretty much to just making sure this is all covering to the end of the collaging portion. Okay. A lot of hangover here. <laughs> okay, let me move all this. Now, on the other side, I think we need a label on this side too. Let's spin this real quick. Okay, I'm thinking right in here. We need some sort of label. And I'm also thinking that we need something that is blue um, with some blue in it. Okay, that's not blue. I'm getting there. I'm working on it. Let's see. I kind of like that. I wonder if I have any of those already cut out. I didn't cut them out. I, here's one with blue on it. Let's see what it looks like. It's just too light. See that black stands out. And then we have, we can trim a lot of this off. Just leave a little bit of the blue line. And we can use this. Because we don't really have this blue in our project, but it's just enough to pop off the page. 
It almost looks green, but that's okay because we have some green. And also our peacock has green. I must have not saw this one when I did the front. Because this would have been a good one on the front too. Okay. Has a tiny bit of glitter on it, which is kind of fun. Okay. All right. So this part is done. It needs to dry before we can do the stitching. But first, I want us to do collaging on it. Just a very light coat. Just to see. We haven't done this to see what it would be like. And I recommend you paint your, you wet your brush really well before you do it so it's thinner. And just do a little bit, be very gentle. Because you know how delicate uh, this stuff can be. I love the way it feels. I'm just wondering if it will help. This is a matte finish, so it shouldn't be like super shiny. But um, I'm doing doing it so thin that I can't tell if I'm if I'm, what part I'm hitting and what part I'm not. Okay, so I think this will help to keep it down. But because we're doing this section, it's going to look off if we don't do the whole thing. I know some of you are like, what? But... You know, we work hard on this stuff. I just want to see if it, if it does. This is just a trial. I don't really have anything planned for this card, which is not uncommon. I, that's how I am with most things I do. I just put them in my completed box and go from there. Now, you may not be able to ink after this except around the edges if that is a problem for you you need to know that i don't know i i will just have to try it and see don't know for sure now we don't want let me make sure i got it all covered you can kind of tilt it around and see i think it's covered good enough although this one little spot I want to make sure this little spot right here and right down the middle is done. Okay, now, let's see. We're going to have to give it a minute to dry on the other side, and we'll just set it right here and then bring it back in just a second because I want us to start the next thing, which is going to be for my... Um, my next journal. So we're gonna cut this flower out. I was gonna mosh posh this flower. See, I don't know. I wanna put it I wanna put it in here, but let me cut it wide enough first. I wanna put it in there, but I don't know if it will go in there and stay in the right spot. This is a different kind of envelope that I got from a Tattered Dream. Denise over at a Tattered Dream sells these. And see, I'm going to have to cut some of the bottom off. But then the problem is, is I tore this out of the book. And I don't know. We might have to lose a little bit of the bottom. Let's just see. Yeah, it's a little bit, I tell you what I'm going to do, don't crack up at me, but I'm going to add a little bit of paper behind it. Well, it's kind of, I don't know, right there, but I'm going to add a little bit of paper behind it so that it, it won't show where it was torn as bad. 
Now it, it's probably going to show a little bit. There's not much you can do about that. It's totally crooked though, isn't it? It's not going to matter because we're going to cut it to cut it straight. And then we'll cut it straight. Now, this is just a trick to fix it. That's, you know, I always say there's always a way and this needs to go down a little bit more on the bottom. Not much. There we go, it should be perfect now. Look at that. Love it. Now, what we'll do is when this portion is, we gotta get some lavender paper. That's one thing we've got to do. Let me scoot this blue paper over here out of the way. All right, come on, get out of there. I'm trying to scoop the little tiny pieces that are in my way into the trash. All right, so now we need lavender. And we had lavender last night. Here's a lavender. Um, which means the other lavender should not be far away. <laughs> Where are you, lavender? Let's see. There is some lavender. We'll just tear around the portions we want. So we don't have to have a huge amount of lavender because we're going to just work it in certain spots. Now, let me see. Where'd the rest of the lavender go? There's some. All right, we're good. All right, we are good. So, this is what we're going to do. Kind of like we did on the seed package. We're going to just tear and, and lay it down. Let's see. I think, let's do it this way on the top. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to try not to do teensy tiny pieces here. Okay, looks like there's writing or something right there, but that's not going to matter. Okay. Okie doke. Have you guys enjoyed collaging? And, and tell me in the comments if you like doing it. So I know who likes it, who doesn't like it. You know, right now it's the thing. And right now I am discovering different ways to do it. Or I'm working on discovering different ways so that it's not boring to you guys. I want to come up with a lot of different things that we can collage. And so that's what I'm working on. Okay, now, let's trim that off. Be careful not to cut your pocket right there on that side. Let's see. You can get so close that you trim off the edge of the pocket. Okay, so there's that portion. Now, um, I want to do something across here that's a little, a little bit darker. Uh, let's see. Got to tear this, though, and I don't know. Maybe we'll put this down the side. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to tear it on the inside just a tiny, tiny bit. Because I kind of like the, the side that goes into the window to be a little shaggy. I've done it both ways and I like it when one side is a little bit shaggier than the other. And when you can get one piece down the side like this, I just like it better. Okay, let's see if we've got much more lavender on here. No, not in that section. I'm sure there's more somewhere. I want this little 
just this little flower in here somewhere too. How about we just tear down the middle just a little bit and then put just stick it right there. Just let it be all alone. Don't want it up there because I kind of want to separate it from other lavender. There we go. Okay, now let's put a little bit of some solid. Let's see. <laughs> and when I say we're going to put lavender, I mean we're going to put lavender. You can tear your paper one way and you will get not as much white. And I forget and I just start tearing. And I don't like it that white, so we're going to move it over. Just like that. I tell you what, I had a long night last night. I just could not rest. Oh, so frustrating. I don't know how you guys feel whenever you can't sleep, but it really does. I kept thinking, I've got to go to the doctor. I've got to do this. I've got to do that. Got to take a shower. Got to get, you know, do everything I need to do. I've got another hour and a half, so I can jump in and out of the shower pretty quick, and then finish this at the same time. Okay, so now I have some, I thought I was going to have a lot of different lavenders, but maybe not. Okay, so I'm going to put this lavender up here. And let's see. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, that will work. Okay. I don't want to cover my little butterfly right here. So I'm going to be real careful. There we go. I like that. I do. I like that part. Let's see. I don't really want to repeat. You know what I mean? I don't want to repeat. So let me see what other lavender I have. I know we had more in here. You'd think I'd be smart and keep the colors together after I've gathered them. But when you start digging through here, things change rather quickly. Because you're flipping and flopping and before you know it, you're going every direction. Okay, be, be patient with me. I'm trying to hurry. I know we have... Um, There's something. It's lavender. Let me see if I can find one more thing real fast. Because I'm not fixing the front where we can... Um, I'm not fixing the front in a bunch of different... Oh, and I just found the stack of lavender. It's probably a lot of it is the same as what we had before. Oh, that's different. This lavender is. Okay, we'll use that one and this one and see where that gets us. See what happens. Okay. I'm going to push this aside. Okay. So, uh, tear this down this side here. Yeah, see, when you pull the paper forward, that's going to give you more of the white edge. 
if you pull the fab, uh, the um, not fabric, the paper, the other direction. I want this down here because it can hang off a little bit. It's just, you know, that's the way that feels comfortable when I tear. And um, so you just have a tendency to... Look at her little iris just popping out of there like she's a grand old thing. She is the important part of this. She's looking that way too, isn't she? Okay, now we need... This really has way too much blue in it, but it does have a purple tinge to it. Okay, I've got some more going right here, so let me grab some. See what I've got. Oh, and it's mixed with a lot of... Um, here's some stripe. I know that looks kind of blue, but it really is not. Okay, and I'm just going to use... A section. <laughs> a section. Let's see. Let's go up here a little ways. Yeah, that's way too far. It's still too much hangover to the window. So, let me see what we got if I do it like this. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Maybe that would be better. Okay, so if you put it like that, I don't really want it to be the same height as the one across from it. So I'm trying to do it a different height. Let's see what we get here. Covering these little things that go around the window is pretty tedious <laughs> when you have clumsy hands. Okay, we just need one piece right there. So let's see what we can come up with. Ooh, let's see. Let's see. That works. Now we got to also do, I think we need to do lavender on the flap on that side, don't you? Let's see. Get up there. I don't know. I just, I think we need like a little something to break that up right there. But what would that be? Maybe one of these flowers. That's what we'll do. See, I'm thinking just something that's kind of there and makes no sense <laughs> yeah that's what I say all right just a little piece of paper there that kind of changes that flat shape even though it's really not flat but do we want to do it like this or do we want to do it like this I think I want to do it like this just straight up there we go. Makes a world of difference. At least I think it does. So now we need to change our paper for sure. And we're going to trash it because it's got pictures on it. Let's just trash that one too. So we don't have to waste our precious time. Okay. I'm going to move this. I hate it when it gets all 
We need a little pieces everywhere. Okay, so now we're gonna do this flap at the top. Now, I'm looking to see if there's a purple in here we have not used. I don't have a purple, but I have, well, I say that, let me look. Let me keep looking. I do have some purples. I don't think we used that side, did we? And look how perfect that is. Perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in its perfect position and I'm gonna bring it down just a tiny bit because I'm wondering because it's the seam if we shouldn't fold it over. Here we go, we're gonna see what happens. Because otherwise it's gonna leave a gold um, seam and I just don't think that looked good. I mean, this is gonna be hung in a gallery. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Okie dokie. Okay. Let's see what happens. Let's do it right here. I'll let it dry for a minute before I fold it. Now, we'll add some more. Let's turn it around like this. Because it's going to be flipped upside down. So I'm thinking we should use some of the opposite side. This cute little, this cute little paper on the other side with the little tiny flowers. I really think it's adorable. Awesome. Perfect little spot for that. Now, I'm looking, let's see. Let's see if that, do we want it like that? I think we want it the opposite way. Let's see what happens. All right. I think when you can change it different directions, it, it just, it, it gives it a different look. Okay. Here is a nice little lavender. Let's see if I can tear this little skinny thing. Ugh, come on. Cooperate. Once you get it started, it's a little bit easier than... I'm hoping that this will fit all the way across. We're getting there. Slow as she goes. Okay. Let's do it like this. Yeah. So we just have one more little piece right here. And I think we should do this one because well, we haven't done very much of that. If I can get it torn like I want it. And this little straight edge torn. Okay. And of course, I don't know. Shoot. Well, it doesn't want to cover that direction, so we're just gonna go like this. And then we'll just do a little plop of something right there. Maybe this little, 
little piece. I don't like doing little pieces. I want to get away from that, but this is a little envelope. I don't know if you guys have ever used one of these, but they're small, but they're perfect for what I'm doing on this particular thing. Okay. There we go. Let's trim this off. Okay. This is like a coin envelope, only it has a window. Okay. I went back to Target and got some more because they, I didn't do it on purpose. They had restocked and they had, I bet, 30 or 50 more. So I'm like, these have to last me forever. I'll never see these again. Boom. And then it ended up being, look how cute. Now let's fold it. Get a good fold in there before we do the other side. Now. Okay. This little area right there is going to be in a trouble spot. If I don't pull it off, because it's on that curve over, the curve over area, the curve over. <laughs> oh, Lord. Anyway, uh, let me get that. It's got a piece of glue right there, and I don't like it, but I guess I'm going to leave it. All right. So, now we're going to do this side with journaling paper and try to make it um, big pieces or bigger pieces. I'll put it that way. Now... I like to hang this over something else, but I don't want it to be, how about this? We'll put this in the middle. So we can do, this has a scoop down a little bit, but I'm just gonna do it straight across. So you might not want to put glue in the scoop down area. Because I'm putting this whole piece across here. Now, let me see. Ooh, that side has purple in it. So let's go on the other side. Much better. It's got some lavender back there. But yet it's journaling paper. So, hmm. Trying to decide if that would be... You know what I can do is I can put the glue right there on that little spot and then do the rest but not let that that part be affected so that's what we'll try doing Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right, let's trim that off. Yes, I love the way that looks. And now we're going to go over it with this at the top. So let's just put a little bit of glue right there along the edge to hold that as well. I think my book's getting scooted over. It's riding its way across the room. Sorry, guys.
I've been doing a lot of this collaging in my videos because people are loving it. And I'm um, getting comments, you know, that basically they love it. And so I'm sure there'll be a time it slows down. I do have some other things I'm going to be doing because I'm starting the, the book this week. Okay, there we go. Now, I think we need something lavender at the bottom here. So how about we just put some of this at the bottom? Sounds good to me. That way we have a little bit of the right color down there. And then we'll put some lavender at the top on the flap and that will add the amount we need. I'm hoping I have some more of that other lavender with the tiny little flowers. I don't know if I do or not, but we'll look. Okay. Let me look at my stash. I think we've used, oh, no, there's some. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Okay, so we're going to do it. I'm going to draw a line right here. And I'll get my pencil. I got to check and see how much time we, after we glue this down, I got to see how much time we've got. I want to get. Now, on stuff like this, I'm not going to, to use decoupage but just when it's napkins. I just feel like with napkins, well, the thing is, is I added some napkins to one of them from yesterday and it was peeling off and the edges were sticking up and you couldn't get glue on them to put them back down and it just ended up tearing. It messed up my, it just messed up. It messed up what I had planned. Okay, so now, Let's see if we can get this to even slide down in there a little bit. Maybe not. Let's see. That shape is pretty good. Let's just do this at the bottom and see what happens. Just see if it goes down in there this time. Yep. All right, so we might have a little peek of the of the uh, gold showing, but what we can do is um, just ink that on that portion. Now, I didn't think about this part, but it got glue on the top, so I don't want it to glue this thing closed. So what I'll end up doing is probably putting something between the top portion. I just slid that bottom portion in first. It's what I recommend you do. And then just push up to cover as much of the... Now, this is going to want to stick if you don't put something in here. So let me see what I want to put in there. I'm thinking maybe some parchment paper. <laughs> I got a little piece over here. Okay. We'll just slide a piece down in there just for a few minutes until we know it's dried. Sorry guys, for some reason my phone just Stop for a second. So we're going to have to splice this together, and that's okay, because we're real close to being done here. So I'm going to glue the label down. Ah, I want a label on here. I think I want the label right here at the bottom to the right. And I want this word botanical on here. I think I'm going to put it right here on the front. See how it ends up looking. All 
right. Now all of this has to dry before we can ink or do anything else. So, come on, get on there straight. Yes, I'll spin this real quick. Now, I hope I didn't make a mistake by putting that down in there because I had that happen before. I was not thinking, but maybe it will cooperate and stay. I mean, we're not really going to be adding anything else to this, so we may even end up, you know, gluing that down. And I don't want to have to do that. I mean, I'd like to not do that. But um, if the paper tries to come up down inside, I can't glue it down. But what I can do is I could put some washi tape down there if I could get down in there without tearing up the rest of it. See, it's wanting to come up. So when you do a flap, just, I'll probably forget again, but when you do a flap like that, you want to make it longer or you want to cut it off right here. But I did not want that gold because nothing else is gold. Oh, look how cute. Cute, 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 guys. And I'll probably make a clip and maybe I can find some lavender um, on there to make it look better. So, let's take a look at our... Um, our peacock and see what he ended up looking like. I got to put some glue in there. I didn't do that. I said, oh, we're going to do the other side. Ooh, let's do that real fast. And when we do this other side, um, I will put some mosh posh under it, under the corners that are sticking up just like this so here we go let's put that in there not so much that it oozes out yeah that a hold should hold these corners let's go down in there see only thing about um, mod podging, I mean, using a glue stick. But this is the type of project you need to use a, blue, a glue stick on. And luckily, we've got a strong one. Or at least I've got a strong one. I'll put it that way. I don't know what everybody else has. But you want to get it as hefty as you can. Now, see, this is... I'm going to get just a little bit on there. This is... This side goes all the way down. And this is why I've been sewing around everything because these ends don't stay down if you don't. But I want I want to get it down in case I decide uh, I'm going to stitch it. I'm sure I'm going to stitch it. But see, it's not. i got to hold it for a second. It's not wanting to stick. So if it doesn't, then what we'll end up doing is just making sure we stitch closer to the edge. Probably we'll just do a straight stitch to make sure that stays down. Yeah, there it is, it's staying down now. Okay, let's do the other side and then we'll be done with this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today and if you did, I really wish you'd put, um, would give me a thumbs up. I'm doing the ending stuff as we talk here because we're past time. And um, I want to thank everyone that has subscribed this past week. Appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the channel. I know there's a lot of people that do. And I know that I do. So... Just putting a light coat on. Don't like keep heaping it on there. I'm trying not to anyway. You know, sometimes you have to go back and cover little areas. Um, 
And I'm doing it on the back because we did it on the front. You don't want one side to be slightly shiny and the other side to be, you know, dull. And I'll see what this looks like. And I will do the stitching and then I will show it to you in the next video, just like I did the tags today. Because I want you to be able to see the finished project. Now, this side's got a little bit of leaky leaky going on too. It might be the same side, I don't know. It doesn't matter because we don't have to worry about it. All right, so let me show you what this other side looks like that's dry. And if I can get up without getting sticky all over everything. Because the other side's wet. But see, there's not much, much glare to it. So I'm going to um, get off of here and take my shower and go to the doctor. I hope you guys enjoyed today. I know, I know that I did. So you guys have a good rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.